78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. Shout out to uh, Devin the Dream Haney and Ryan Garcia. Had their face-off premiere today over on uh, the Zone's YouTube channel. <clears throat> and um, this is my reaction to it. Uh, first of all, it was a good face-off. Um, it's clear that these guys got history, clear that they uh, used to be friends. Um, and um, there, it was a lot a lot of the stuff to, to, to tell from this. I felt like they talked about a lot of the amateur fights. Uh, Ryan bragged about how he got the better of Devin Haney in the beginning uh, of their amateur career. Devin explained that, you know, he was still on the way up. Ryan was more experienced than he was. Uh, but then once he got his feet settled in, he got older and matured. He started to beat Ryan, and he says that Ryan uh, uh, hasn't been – he hasn't improved a lot since the amateurs. He's just bigger, he's stronger, but his style is still the same since the amateurs. But Devin has, you know, uh, uh, improved greatly since the amateurs. Um, they debated and disagreed about uh, the standard eight count. Devin says he gave Ryan a standard eight count in the last fight. Uh, Ryan says uh, he don't remember that. Um he remembers Devin beating him, but he don't remember the standing eight count or whatever. Uh, but this is the part that was very telling to me, all right? Ryan Garcia confessed and admitted that um, he can't – he cannot – he's not patient enough, basically, to box and to fight with the game plan. He says that that's not his style. He just can't do what Devin does. He has to go in there and get to it. He has to get to the action, right? He said he'll get bored boxing. He has to go in there and fight. Devin explained that that was Ryan's weakness in the amateurs. He said once he figured out, Ryan, that Ryan likes to jump on you. Devin said, Ryan beat me in the amateurs. He just came out there and surprised me. He jumped right on me. And uh, after that, I said, I'll never let him do that to me again. And Ryan said he tried to do it again, but it didn't work. Right. But then after Ryan acknowledges that he tried to do that before, in the amateurs, again, and it didn't work, he then basically says he's going to try to do it in this fight, in the pros, right? He basically saying he's going to come in the pro professional about and attempt to jump on Devin Haney and overwhelm Devin Haney, right? And uh, that's why Floyd Mayweather basically showed Ryan that, that uh, rigged-up doctor tape of uh, Tate Davis and Devin Haney sparring uh, footage because – that's what the way they think you have to beat uh, Devin Haney is to overwhelm him. Don't give him time to think. Uh, uh, kind of, you know, take the Marcos Maidana approach uh, uh, to the to the situation, right? That's what they believe uh, um, is the strategy to beat Devin Haney. So I believe Ryan has given up his game plan. Um, he exposed his own game plan, uh, which wasn't too bright. You know, you should have made Devin think that you, you know, was going to do something else and, and, and then try to surprise him. But most likely what Ryan's going to do is he's going to come out, he's going to box a little bit in the first round, uh, you know what I'm saying? If he sees some openings, he will take them. But what Ryan Garcia is pretty much going to do is probably just like in the tank fight. Second round came around, he couldn't wait, he got impatient, and he jumped. He tried to jump on tank, and it looked good for a minute. You know, the crowd was roaring. Tank was like, looked like he was overwhelmed. And then Ryan lost discipline, wasn't defending himself. Pop goes the weasel. The weasel go pop. He goes down, right? He went down, right? Um, then he ended up quitting. Now, what's going to happen in the Devin fight, I believe, is Ryan Garcia is going to jump on Devin Haney. He's going to try to make it. The crowd's going to be roaring. Dev, uh, Ryan's not going to be landing most of those punches, but who cares? Because as long as you're throwing punches, the crowd's going to roar, right? Um, Devin Haney will be landing the crisper, cleaner, uh, uh, more effective punches, right? He Devin Haney will be winning the rounds. And before you know it, Ryan will lose his cool. He will get frustrated. He will get boring. Uh, he will get bored from not being able to uh, uh, land any significant blows on Devin Haney. And he, he won't be able to, to keep his cool. I'm telling you right now. I don't believe he's going to be able to keep his cool. I think Ryan is going to do something goofy, and Devin Haney just may stop him. He just may stop Ryan, bro. He just may stop him. 
Ryan might walk in. I can see Ryan swinging for the fences and walking right into something and getting hit. I can see Ryan getting dropped several times in this fight uh, from his lack of discipline. You know what I'm saying? Now that's you know that's just that, that's a possibility. Okay, um, you know what I mean Ryan has been talking a lot of smack. He's been doing a lot of uh, you know. Now this face off was recorded before Ryan um, you know you know really went off the rocker. You know what I'm saying? This face off was recorded uh, back when uh, they had the uh, press conference or whatever. So since then, Ryan has been on social media uh, doing the most. You know what I'm saying? He's been up there talking about conspiracy theories, talking about 9/11 and Alex Jones, and talking about uh, 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 aliens and uh, you know uh, somebody kidnapped him and dragged him off into the woods and forced him to watch some stuff. All this stuff that just unbelievable. And, and allegedly, he got it all on his phone. But, you know, the police ain't going to do nothing about it. You know, unbelievable. No, 78, you sleep, man. Ryan woke, man. Ryan, Ryan, you know what I'm saying? How you know Ryan telling the truth, bro? That stuff really be happening, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, why is he? Boxing should be the last thing on his mind. Bro, if somebody kidnapped you out of your sleep, drug you off into the woods and forced you to watch bad things happen in the children, and you got it all on your phone, what in the world? Why are we training for a fight? Bro, I'm somebody going to jail. And if ain't nobody going to jail, I'm, I'm finna, the last thing on my mind is boxing. Y'all can't get out of that. Y'all can keep on trying to gas Ryan up all you want to. But the bottom line is you can't get around that fact right there. Right? The man the man is off his rock at the end of the day. Um, ain't no telling. Uh-uh, but the, 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 the scary part about this is for Devin Haney is that Ryan uh, now has psyched himself up to believe he's some soldier for the Lord. He believes he's fighting some holy war for the Lord. And he has psyched his mind into believing this. You know what I'm saying? And, and once, you know, it, it, it could be a boot knee Lee Farnsworth effect, right? This man think he, he he's something he ain't. You know, I am a lion. Yeah, I am a tiger. Ferocious. Yeah. And all this old mess. He believe it. So it's going to be hard to whoop a dude like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, a uh, best case scenario, uh, Ryan get goofy and, and jump, try to jump on Devin early. Devin catch him, pop, go to weasel. And then, you know, but, you know, they people not even going to want to give Devin credit. if he, Devin when, See, this is what I'm saying. If Devin knock out Ryan Garcia, a lot of people not going to want to give Devin credit. They're going to try to discredit it by, oh, man, Ryan wasn't in his right mind. Even though all these goofies run around now talking about Ryan, uh, uh uh, 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 oh man, no, you don't know Ryan. Ryan dropping the truth, man. Ryan exposing the Illuminati, you know what I'm saying? All this old stuff. But when Devin whoop them, they're gonna say they're gonna try not to give Devin credit, you know what I mean? That's what they're gonna try to do. I think Ryan's antics have hurt the um, the gate numbers. I think a lot of people will buy tickets at the last minute, but they want to make sure Ryan's gonna show up. Uh, Ryan's antics have hurt the gate numbers, but I think his antics. Uh, you know what I'm saying, along with the great promotion by Bill Haney and Devin Haney, I think that this fight will do extremely well on pay-per-view. I think it will do extremely well on pay-per-view. I think it's going to do a million-plus pay-per-view buys. That's what I'm guessing. But the thing is, the zone doesn't release their pay-per-view numbers, so I don't know if we will know uh, what the pay-per-views do. But we'll see. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, what y'all thought of the face-off, who you got in this fight, and why. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button on the way out. Sub to the channel. Share this video. And I'm about to hear Deuces.